Once again, I bid my fellow delegates a good day. As you know by now, on this third day of the convention, I am Hugh Williamson, representative of North Carolina. I stand here today to speak to you on a matter that is of the utmost importance to our Constitution. That matter at hand needs to be discussed in the most rigorous of fashions. We must discuss at once the mode of election that shall be used to elect members into our office. I ask that you once again listen to me for the next few moments and save your judgment till I have concluded my thoughts. Thus I begin. As a moderate nationalist myself, I believe that indirect elections for our office members would be the correct way to go about this. We as a nation cannot foresee what candidates are going to be the best leaders for our country, but by having an indirect election system, we may be able to make sure that the election of leaders is equal and fair for all. I propose we ought to have our citizens or another group be at the start of the process for electing candidates. Thus, having a system s such as this would make it so no parties feel left out being represented in an election of our candidates because they would have a part in choosing the person who do elect their leader. It would be surely be a complete failure for our nation if you choose to listen to our peers and have our candidates voted for by the state legislators. If this were to happen, it would mean a loss of freedom and a loss of a right for our people. I do not disagree that state legislators should have power. They make up our nation, so it would be foolish if, if they did not have powers. But giving the state legislatures the power to choose who holds office would mean a heavy imbalance of power on our beloved nation that we have fought for the independence of. The thought of giving state legislators this power is absolutely chilling. We cannot give up the human right to vote for electors by giving away the power to the states. I believe, as I have said, that the only way to ensure that we have equality in the electorate is by having... A system as I have mentioned. Giving the power to elect directly to the public or directly to state legislatures would result in an unfair imbalance that would have a chain reaction into more power grabs for either the public or the states. If we follow the system that I and my moderate nationalist peers have constructed, we shall be able to salvage equality in our great nation and stay away from similarities from the crown that once ruled over our states. I say, if you would like to revisit the injustices that were done to our nation and upon us, then vote for state legislatures being able to preside over the votes for candidacy. But if you have the same aims as I, please follow me and my peers to creating equal representation for the electorate. This pressing matter is of the utmost importance if we strive to not create another abusive monarchy over our country. If we stand by the quote, all men are created equal from one of our founding documents of our country, then we should stand to not let the state legislators take over all the power in the electorate. It calls for bad tidings if such is done in our nation. I stand here today calling on what is for the better of our nation, not for what is the better for me and what my opinion ought to be for this matter. Our country is better when it is equal, not when one branch or one group has more power than the other. Indirect elections are not the singular way to help this matter, but state legislatures having the power to elect would have a negative impact on all of us. I hope you have heard me today, and I thank you for your precious time. Good day, my fellow compatriots.